Welcome back. You tuned in to the Cover Drive on Winners TV. The advent of the modern game has brought spin to the forefront. The increased preparation and rolling of modern day pitches have forced many a team to bolster their bowling attacks with slow bowling or spin. Most popularly, the off spinner is the regular fixture. However, suffice it to say, the true gem of a spectacle is the leg spinner, better known as the wrist spinner. Today, we are going to give you a couple of pointers as to the basics of leg spin bowling. And no one better to show us than the Warner himself. Enjoy. Perth is the place on a glorious sunny morning. Warnie, thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, mate, we're going to go through some of the aspects of leg spin that you feel are important and talk about some of the principles that have made you so successful. Let's begin with the grip, because you've got a looser grip than a lot of youngsters. Yeah, I think one of the most important things is the grip, is you have to feel comfortable with your grip. But as long as you're doing the basics right, you haven't got the ball too far in your palm like that, which you know, if you haven't got it too close and too far in there, it's just about hard to get the ball to actually spin the ball. You need to have a bit of a gap in between there so you can actually get the leverage to actually spin the ball. So that's important. Grip is something, the actual pressure of your grip is something that you have to feel comfortable with. What I do, which not necessarily mean it's right, but it just suits me. That's one of the very important point. You must do what suits yourself. But as long as you're doing the basics right. My grip, a lot of people are taught to grip it really tight and, and really squeeze it and spread these fingers like that. The reason I don't like that, first of all, is if you've got it tight and tense, you're tense when you come to the wicket. You're actually coming up and you've got it tight and it's all getting really hard. I like to feel relaxed. I think if I feel relaxed doing it, then I'll be able to do what I want to do down that end. So the reason being I have a nice loose grip. My fingers are probably a bit too close together, but that works for me. And they're very loose. It's two fingers down, two fingers up, and the ball just slots in there like that, and the thumb just rests there. A lot of people talk about how high your arm should be. We've heard people say you shouldn't be above the perpendicular and you shouldn't be too low when you release the ball. Yeah, I think somewhere that you've got too high and you've got too low. I think somewhere in between there is about where mine sometimes gets a little bit too low, but most of the time it's around that sort of area. I'm not sure what sort of degrees that is, but that I think enables me to get maximum spin from my deliveries and also my variations Generally, my wrong and my arm will be a little bit higher, but generally my leg break will be working about that sort of angle. So I've got my run up. I'm here. I'm, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Now I start to build it up. As I get closer to the wicket here, I start to build it up, and then I bowl. Pretty good cherry, just quietly too. <laughs> <laughs> and when and and when you reach the crease, you talk about this explosion at the crease. This is the energy at the crease, isn't it? And where do you propel it towards the batsman? Well, I'm a little bit different. A lot of people, I know I'm a bit different in some things, but a lot of people, what they <laughs> think about... Everywhere there is, Thanks, Mark. <laughs> but what a lot of people think about is they think about a spot on the wicket. They think about certain different things. I actually think about what shot I want the batsman to play, whether I want him to push him back and defend, whether I want to draw him forward to drive, whether I want him to try and sweep, whether I'm trying to push him back on the back foot. So that allows me to bowl exactly where I want, rather than focusing in on a spot or anything like that. I think about what I'm trying to get the bats out. I've got my plan. I'm trying to work to that plan to get them out. So then it's a matter of execution. You have to execute what you're trying to do with your plan or you have to start again. Okay, and you talk sometimes, I've heard you talk about bowling up. Yep. Uh, the two things I get, sometimes I do get a bit too round arm. So my key words are think high and spin up, which means if my arm's there and I think high, it just gets it up to about there. It doesn't yeah. mean it's up there. Yeah. So I think high to get my arm up into that position and spin up is not to make sure you spin down but it's actually to spin the ball up and here in Perth That's you can to get the ball above the batsman's eye le level well it's to get the ball up in there to, as a spin bowler you have to deceive them in flight no yeah. matter what sort of pace you bowl you still have to deceive them in flight not, you're not going to beat people off the pitch too much you have to get them in the air you have to get them to second guess what's going on right. and you do that in flight try to give us this feeling then of, 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 of standing tall and, and spinning up well, the, the easiest thing is to do, there's a difference when you actually bowl, it's all about when you release the ball too. Sometimes if you try and do it and you're actually trying to spin the ball hard, you generally get to about into this position, then you try and spin it hard, and what happens is you drag it down. So if you're trying to spin it hard, sometimes you open up like that and you drag it down spinning. So you actually want to, to spin up for me, 
means I get myself in that position and I spin the ball up, up like that. And what role does the follow-through play in all of Crucial. that? Okay. Crucial. Crucial is a follow-through. There's no point bowling the ball and stopping here. This, with your follow-through and things like that, you've got your momentum with your run-up. When you've actually released the ball, it's just like any other fast bowler, any other bowler. You must make sure you follow through, and that's where your hips and everything else drive. You follow through and you come right through the ball, and everything's at the target. There's no jumping in or angles like that. It's all straight at the target, and the target's the batsman. So you bowl the ball. Once you bowl the ball, you're actually following through. All your weight's going forward. That helps you get that shape and dip and spin and all those nice things. Now let's get on to uh, the four main deliveries you've got, Shane. Uh, firstly, the leg break. The leg break, uh, it, you, basically your wrist is in that position with the back of your hand facing his face, and that's how you bowl your leg break from right to left. That's how it goes. And then from there, you've got different versions of that. You've got more overspin with the leg break. You've got more side spin. They're all the different variations of the same delivery. But that's the basic leg break. So the back of the hand's pointing at your own face. To me, yep. Yeah. Then if you want to bowl an overspinner, it's basically just go straight over the top like that. And then so if the you go to the, the wrong end... near the sky, and then the wrong end, the back of the hand's facing the bat. Facing the batsman. Okay. So there are people that can bowl it a, a wrong and a lot better than what I can, but that's how I bowl mine. Uh, a lot of people can bowl them different sorts of ways and different leg breaks, but they're the basic for children trying to bowl leg breaks. If you try and get your wrist in that position for a leg break, that position for a straight one, that position for a wrong one, then hopefully you'll be okay. Uh, How does that, the flipper work? The easiest thing with a flipper is to click your fingers, put the ball in there, click yeah. your fingers, and try and get the ball to come up, and yeah. do exactly the same up here. Click your fingers. And Give the us ball all four. Four, four balls. Okay, here's right. the leg break. Leg break. First. I'll go leg break, top spinner, wrong one, then I'll bowl a slider and a flipper. Okay. So first of all, you get your leg break. Everything the same that we've talked about. Leg break. Okay, so that's got the back of the hand facing you. Yep. Then the top, the over spinner or top spinner. Back of the hand heading towards the sky. Then the wrong one. Oh yes, back of the hand facing the batsman. Slider. Slider with a seam. I'll do the seam down this way. A good mix, sliding out the side of the hand. And now and the flipper the, to finish with, flipper. which is a great delivery to bowl when it comes out well. Okay, great to watch those. And just to finish, some thoughts for youngsters, because, gee, you guys get smacked over the boundary ropes too often for kids to stick with the art sometimes. A couple of basic things I need. First of all, you need to be best friends just about with a captain, because they're the ones going to try and keep you on. Uh, you need to have a lot of love from everybody because it's hard and it can be embarrassing sometimes. Uh, and also you've got to have a bit of courage. No matter what's actually happening, you've got to be able to throw it up and getting hit for six sometimes can be fun. You don't know, mightn't like it, but no matter how far it goes, you get a chance to bowl the next ball, whether it's a different ball or whatever, you get a chance to bowl it again. So for the dads watching, just make sure you give them lots of encouragement and uh, try and spin the ball. Thank you so very much for joining us on today's show of The Cover Drive. We do hope that you did have an enjoyable show. If you do have any emails, questions, recommendations, proposals perhaps, feel free to contact us at coverdrive at winnerstv.com. That's all for today's show. We wish you a pleasant week and ask you to join us next week. Thank you very much.